Because you're right there, and there's you and the burning star sitting right there, and then we got to have a guy, girl, guy, girlfriend, right? Hey, well, that's it, folks. Makes us comfortable. Just like this one, two, action. Now, I'm um, zipping along here for a reason, as I mentioned, but I did end up on some outstanding subjects. And I want to emphasize again, looking throughout the group, there are at least 10 or 20 more of them that could easily be up here as the new star. I get these folks because they appear to be very good visualizers. They appear to be able to take an image and transfer that image into an action very quickly and very easily. That's the basis of all this self hypnosis. You ask a person to visualize open 100 balloons filled with helium, and often the arms will quite dramatically rise into the air. If you talk to people afterwards, they most of them tell you, I don't feel like I lifted my arm as much as it felt like it was being lifted. An autonomous motion. Now, have any of you folks ever been hypnotized or hypnotized? You have moments. You have them up, right? And your first name is Aaron. Let me show you what happens when a good visualizer begins visualizing other things. Your first name circuits. So, do me a favor. It's going to sound strange. But nice to look over here at Aaron. Keep an eye on her. Catch her if you have to. And once in a while, they try to do a game around the chair. You don't want that to happen. And you are a lot of it, right? Not hypnotized, totally focused. You've never been hypnotized, right? Okay. So the spotlights up there, the stream. Big ones, visual ones. Take a minute. I remember how relaxed you were just a few seconds ago. Five, four, three, two, one. Stay loose and all that. Deeper, more relaxed. Deeper, more relaxed. Don't tap her in. Just make sure she's in there. Thank you. Are you going to catch? See the spotlights in there? Thank you. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, and one. How are you? Have you been hypnotized? Are you hypnotized right now? Gina? So your name is? Bob. Bob? Do you know Gina? No. Oh, shit. Good mojo. Hold up. Oh, I need your help right here. You are right away, right, Gina? Would you can spot just look at it? Got it? Take deep breath. Gina? Good sleep. Oh, yeah. Listen to the thing. Just look at it. Take a deep breath. Good. Way. Listen to the thing. Deep breath. Deep breath. Warm, relax. Warm, relax. Are you going to have time, sir? Are you going to have time right now? Hold your name is Dave. Action. Would you pick a spot? Just keep your eyes on that spot. Try to take your eyes off it. Got it? Good. I know you're all relaxed now. I'm going to show you how we can go much, much deeper. We'll spend just the next couple minutes taking you down deeper and deeper into this relaxation. In fact, by the time we finish with this little test, you're going to be ten times more relaxed than you are right now. Take a moment just try to imagine how relaxed that's going to be. Ten times deeper than you are at this moment. I'll show you how we can do it. I'm just going to start slowly coming back. Five, down to one. And the beauty of this is that with each number I count, you'll feel what happens. You'll feel your legs relaxing, your body relaxing, the muscles from the top of your head, to the tips of your toes, bristling, unwinding, drifting deeper, so loose, so relaxed, so comfortable that by the time I reach number one, you really will be ten times more relaxed than you are right now. And we're going to start this whole process with a nice deep breath. So take a moment, breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, slowly start dropping down into that really, really deep relaxation. Five. Let the muscles in your legs go limping in. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Beautiful. More and more and more relaxed. Take on nice deep breath. Breathe deeply. And as you exhale, slowly drop down now. Even deeper. Four. That's it. All the muscles are sliding back. Feel your arms getting loose and limp and heavy. Deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. Perfectly. Take another nice deep breath. Now breathe deeply. Beautiful. Three. Loosen them now, just like a rag doll. Every muscle deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. Deeper and deeper. Now to sleep. Loosen them. Loosen them. Loosen them. Beautiful. When we reach the next number, when we reach this next number, that's when I want you to let all the muscles in your neck go limp so that heavy, heavy yours can drop and flop wherever it wants to go. Take a nice deep breath. Breathe deeply. And as you exhale, drop way down, deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Two, very deep, very relaxed. Sleep. Every time you touch your shoulders, sleep even deeper. Every time you touch your shoulders, sleep down even deeper. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Very deep, very relaxed. Beautiful. Just one more number to go, and when we reach this next number, this final number, that's when you can let everything go and just drop down into a very, very deep sleep. Take a nice deep breath, breathe deeply. Beautiful. Now sleep one. Very deep. Sleep deeper and more relaxed. Loosen them. Every muscle. Loosen them. Deeper and deeper. Relaxing. 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 
relaxing, very deep, very relaxed, and very deep sleep. Loosen it, loosen it, loosen it. You are concentrating beautifully. From this moment forward, any sounds you hear are going to take you deeper. If you hear the audience laugh, it's going to take you deeper. Someone were to drop something that would simply take you deeper. Just keep dropping deeper and deeper sleep. No more, more relaxed until I ask you to awaken. You are doing beautiful. Just keep drifting deeper now with each and every breath. I invite these folks to come to the front. Come to the front. There you go. Come to the front. What we in the business of actually refer to as a flopper. Deeper and more relaxed, more and more relaxed. Who's in the first place to look at it? Baby, baby, they never hurt themselves because they are so totally and completely relaxed. You ever see people have uh, automobile accidents and stuff, and they come out afterwards, no broken bones, because they are so relaxed. And it's, it's amazing to see. But the first thing I'm asking them is, look at how relaxed these people are. And one of my favorite three promises was you'd be very, very relaxed in this presentation. Here's what these folks have done. They have allowed both their mind and their body to totally let go and relax. Folks, there are some of you in here that probably haven't relaxed in the last 10 years. This is why you see the Xanax need and the need for sleep medication and all that jazz, but they never truly turn off. So the first benefit to learning this technique, I think you have to agree, is this just total relaxation. There's absolutely zero tension in the body. We don't have time to do this today, but you know, often my presentations are videotaped. And I like to sometimes take the, the uh, DVD and fast forward it, and you'll see if you fast forward this, these folks are not moving around. Now I'm looking around the room and I think some of you are adjusting your weight in the seat, some of you are scratching your beard, moving around, putting the pencil. These people don't move. What they're doing is completely focusing their attention. They're totally absorbed in what they're doing right now. This is the state of mind we're trying to achieve. So you ask them a very good visual eye, they become very relaxed, they become very, very relaxed. The opposite of deep relaxation, of course, would be like stiff and rigid. Let me show you. One of the person short on touching eyes, better put down five. Another person short on touching one, two, three, four, five. I better put down eight. Just like Madam. Thank you. Any person in the I'm sorry. Aaron. You've never been in his eyes. Are you in his eyes right now? No. Good. Okay. Just like you. 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 Just like as they stand around, once you feel it on the locking tight, you can play stiff rigid or like bar steel. Feel it on the stiff rigid, rigid and stiff. Stick by the bar steel, more stiff, more rigid, more stiff, more rigid. In fact, the moment we count back from three down one, please number I count that I'm going to get more stiff, more rigid. So incredibly stiff rigid that by the time I reach number one, you just going to do not lower or bend the arm. And I don't to try to know what you do. It will not go down until I clap my hands. It's like a bar of steel now until I clap my hands. Three, that I'm getting stiff rigid. Two, like a steel bar well into your shoulder. Three, two, and one. So currently rigid and stiff now. If you try to lower your bed, you'll discover you can't do it. But I want you to try. In fact, I want you to feel it's important to lower that arm. Really important. The harder you try, the more stiff and rigid it gets. Notice, even if you feel me pressing the arm, it's stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid, stiff and rigid like a bar of steel. More stiff and more rigid. This is the opposite. Because here's what he's done. We've now taken a different picture in his mind. The picture before was loose and relaxed by rubber band. Loose and relaxed. Change the picture, stiff and rigid. You now have a person that is, is exerting a huge amount of force on his hand. It's naked. That's my favorite picture. I love that. Right? Stiff and rigid like a bar of steel. He will tell you afterwards, even though you may not believe it, he's really trying to lower that arm. If you look, you'll see him exerting as much force as he can. He cannot lower it because in his mind, he sees it as a steel bar. There's actually a message here. This is what people who see themselves as top of the table do. They ignore any discomfort, they get very, very focused, they put 100% of their mental attention on a goal or a target they're trying to hit. And it changes the way they behave. It changes how they see clients. If you see yourself as a top of the table producer, all of a sudden you find yourself looking for high income, high net worth clients as opposed to what you may have gone after before. You see yourself picking up the phone more. You start noticing yourself generating more activity. As you change what you focus on, you quite often change the person's performance. I'm going to tell you a minute or two, because I want you to notice how long he's hanging the arm out there. Normally, I let this drag on for 10 minutes or so. I don't have 10 minutes today, but when you go back to your room, or before you leave here, hold your arm out in a steady position and try to hold it out there for more than 90 seconds and see what it starts to feel like. This man can hold his arm like that literally for an hour or more with a little bit of discomfort, and I'll tell you why. Because in his mind right now, it's a steel wall. So he's acting like it's a steel wall. The moment I cut my hands out, I'm going to turn back into a rubber band, and we're all going to drop deeper. Sleep five, first three, one, six, sleep, 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 take a nice deep breath and go deeper five. All the way down, four, three, two, and 
one. Ask me now, one, I've got five eyes, but I don't listen to these lines, it's not my voice. One, two, three, four, five, four, 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 four
Take my shoulder, bring it right down, and boost number five, and your eyes pop open. Only the person's shoulder has you very deep, very relaxed, very deep, very relaxed. Loosen, 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 loosen. Now if I open your eyes, first thing you're going to notice is that there's a smell coming from the ends to the left of you, and it's the worst smell you've ever smelled in your life. So it's like, this guy has a big bag, and we try to be quiet about it, and he can't go back to jail, but boy, he's going to smell really bad, and boy, he's going to be only the person's shoulder I'm touching, and now if I open your eyes, you're going to smell the best smell you've ever smelled in your entire life coming from the ends to the right of you. Still 
action on the bar skill. Use your imagination. You actually see little people standing on the shoulder screens to be sound. Wouldn't it be nice if you could see yourself at MDRT top of the table? Wouldn't it be nice if you could see yourself for 100 cases this year or make a certain income level? A part of the process is the visualization. It is not the only part, but it's a very, very big part. Now, folks, first thing I have to do is take all my suggestions away. I'm going to come back from five down to one. As I come backwards, every suggestion I've given to you, while you can sit up here, is going to be totally removed. Everything's going to be removed still very deep asleep, but everything removed by the time I reach number one. Five, four, three, two, one. Everything's back to normal, but still very, very deep asleep. Now, here's the best suggestion of all. And one on the count from one to five, and I reach number five, I'm going to wake up feeling absolutely fantastic in every way, shape, and form. However, from this moment forward, from this exact moment forward, you and you alone are in total control of the state of mind. I'm going to say that again. You completely control the state of mind that you're in. That, what that means is that you're going to find it very easy to get back to this wonderful deep relaxation whenever you want, wherever you want. Give yourself suggestions that every bit is powerful that I have any suggestions that I could ever give to you. You are in control of this state of mind. You can use it to program yourself for business, to help yourself control certain habits. You can completely control this state of mind. Very important, but that's safe in the deepest part of your mind. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. As I come forward, you wake up, you're going to feel fantastic. In fact, you feel better than you felt in weeks. Totally clear-minded, integrated, refreshed, focused, and relaxed. You feel that way for the rest of the day. One, your arms and legs are waking up. You feel great. Two, your mind and your body are waking, 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 wide awake. Three, your eyes are opening. Your body's waking up. You're sitting up in the chair or the floor, which you're going to keep my Four, eyes wide open now. Waking up totally from looking at five. All of the applause is going to be in the eyes. Please give a warm welcome for some final comments to Gerard Rocky. Gerard. 